Signing day 2018 for Colorado Soccer. Danny Sanchez, head coach for the soccer team, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. Before we get to talking about the eight newest Buffaloes you've got, certainly it was a, a good season for the Buffs. I know not getting to the tournament was disappointing. Give us kind of a, a postscript, if you will, in the campaign. Well, like I said before, 335 division one teams, only one is really going to be happy at the end. <laughs> That's so right. we were a little disappointed, maybe a little earlier than would be, but 16 game unbeaten streak. And if you count five at the end of last year, regular season, 21 game unbeaten streak, regular season, which right. is a, a fantastic accomplishment. School record for goals, um, nationally ranked for six or seven weeks. So it was it was a very good season. Unfortunately, things didn't fall our way at the end, um, but it doesn't take away from the season as a whole. A year like that, does that help when you start talking about recruiting? You know, we have to recruit so far out, but it doesn't hurt. And I yeah. think we're on a trajectory of, of consistency of 13, 14, 15 wins over the last five of the last six years. So people know our quality, and uh, they're excited to be a part of it. This process is coming much earlier. Normally we'd be sitting here in February. Does that change the approach to how you're doing? Not really, because yeah. most of these players have been committed for a while. Um, okay. I think if, if down the road maybe a little bit as they're kind of pushing the recruiting timeline back. But for us, you know, February, November, September, December. I'm available for you and, and Eric and everybody whenever. By, as long as they get here, that, that's all we care about. Exactly. Let's talk about the newest Buffaloes. Jade Babcock Chai, five foot five midfielder from Del Mar, California. Yeah, Jade comes from the Surf uh, Soccer Club, which uh, produced a player, Taylor Corniak. She's, she's, she's not bad. She's done pretty well yeah. for us. So Jade's a two way midfielder, very clean on the ball, a very, and you'll hear this a lot, but a very good student, high end student. So, um, she'll help everyone, Chris Livingston, everyone down in academics. She'll, they'll appreciate having her on the program. But cleaning the ball, reads the game well, plays at a high level, plays for a great club team, and we're excited that she's a part of our program. Next up for the Buffaloes, Tessa Barton, five foot seven forward from Columbine, right here in the metro area. Yeah, and and, and uh, as most of you know, her sister is Tatum. Mm -hmm. um, so Tessa was originally committed to Mississippi State, um, but she reached out. Uh, couple months ago and, and decided to stay home so we're excited to have her part of the program and obviously Tatum had a breakout junior year with 11 goals so we're expecting 12 out of Tessa no I'm just kidding <laughs> um, but Tessa similar type of player very physical good on the ball good with her back to the goal um, and a hard worker so we're really excited to have her joining her sister who'll be a senior so I'm sure it'll be fun for them to play on the same team um, for at least one year at CU. You know, Danny, I would think the same thing for all sports, whether it's basketball, football, soccer, it doesn't matter. If you've got good athletes in the state, you want to keep them home, don't you? Well, you, that's where you start. Mm -hmm. You start with the best players in Colorado, and you work your way out. Um, and we feel Tessa is one of the one of the better ones in this class. Next up, another California athlete, Alyssa Duke, six one defender from uh, Upland, California. Yeah, Alyssa was probably our first commitment in this class uh, a long time ago. She's played for Striker F Strikers FC now, but she was with West Coast. Uh, Soccer club uh, back then, um, prototypical center back like I talked about, 6'1", good in the ball, reads the game well. Um, there'll be an adjustment period, I think, for the speed of play of the Pac-12 for her, but she has all the physical tools we're looking for. Um, I don't know what your GPA was in uh, college. Not, not very well. But I think if we combined ours, it wouldn't reach her 4.7 <laughs> uh, GPA in, in 35 uh, ACT. So, once again, Chris Livingston and, and Chris Hallett will love her down in the Herbst Academic Center. But we're, fan we're really excited to have her be a part of our program. Is that You're making it a point to recruit athletes smarter than the coach? Is that the idea? That's not saying much, Mark. <laughs> that, that covers 90% of the student athletes out there. But uh, – but they'll 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 be really successful in the classroom and on the field for us. Outstanding. Next up, Kyla Ferry, five eight forward out of Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, obviously we we dip back into Arizona. You know, me and Jason's hometown. Um, Kyla played for Del Sol with the former teammate of mine way back in the day, Les Armstrong. Um, very good player, Gatorade Player of the Year. Uh, plays for a great club team, great for a great high school team that won the state championship uh, last year. Xavier, uh, there in Phoenix, um, scores goals, creates goals. Um, and I think she has the uh, all the kind of the mental makeup to be successful in the Pac-12. Another California athlete out of Bellflower, California, Amaya Gonzalez, five foot three midfielder. Uh, played with uh, Jesse Lauren with LAFC Slammers. She's won three national championships, so we like players that like that win, and she wins. Um, a little under the radar on her team, kind of where she plays. Doesn't get me the accolades. A lot of a lot of her teammates are national team players, um, but very clean on the ball. Um, reads the game well. It's kind of the glue of that team. If you ask their coach, George Larson, you know, what was the kind of the glue that's kept this group together for the last four or five years, and he'd probably say her. So we're real excited that she decided to be a buff, and she'll be joining Jesse here and in, in CU in July. Seven of the eight athletes coming out of the western part of the country. Next up, a goalkeeper, though, from Damaris, New Jersey, Emma Miller. Yeah, you know, Emma came to us late in the rec uh, recruiting process. She had originally uh, um, committed to uh, Miami of Florida, um, 
and obviously with uh, Kayla McPherson not being able to play anymore for us and Scott Watson graduating, uh, we needed some depth and goalkeeper. And uh, fortunately for us, Emma came to us uh, in camp this summer and did really well and uh, decided to make the trek, uh, trek across the country and, and join us here at CU. So we're excited. We think she has a lot of upside, and, and she'll learn a lot working with Jason and obviously having a three-time all-Pac-12 goalkeeper as well in J.J., uh, we're excited um, about her potential. Next up, Allie Polangi, midfielder, five foot eight, out of Pismo Beach, California. Yeah, Allie is a is a very good player. She's actually been battling some injuries um, for the last year and a half, so she's been a little off the radar. But before that, she was a fringe national team player. Um, had a lot of uh, success with Cal South ODP. Won a few national championships with them. Um, so she's just getting healthy now. Um, she'll be full bore come preseason. So we're excited. But a, another two way midfielder, great in the air, great in the tackle. Um, you know, I think she can play anywhere in those lines. I think she can play in the back as well, but a, a fantastic player. All right, last but not least of the eight new Buffaloes out of Sacramento, California, midfielder Rue Yarnell-Williams. Yeah, Rue is uh, probably our most versatile player in this class. Um, very fast, very athletic, can play in the back, the midfield up top. She's played everywhere with her club team. Um, just a real fighting attitude, a, a competitor. Mm -hmm. um, she won't be intimidated by the environment at all, and she'll come in and compete. Um, her sister plays soccer in Northern Arizona, so she's got some uh, good genes there. So we're excited um, to have Rue be a part of our program, and we really like her versatility as far as where she can play on the field for the Buffs. And overall, from a class standpoint, I mean, you feel good you addressed all the needs you had going into the next season? Yeah, we don't get too caught in that. A goalkeeper is definitely need, right. and to be honest, we probably need another goalkeeper. Um, but uh, – we, we filled in these players. These players commit, in most cases, other than Tessa and Emma, com commit two, three years ago. Okay. Um, but we're still chasing some things. We have this early signing day, but we still uh, we still have opportunities. We had a small roster this year of 23 players, and we graduated seven seniors. So we still have room, so we're still chasing a couple uh, players out there. So there may be some surprises down the road. But uh, for this group that's committed, we're excited about them. Now, Danny, you got something coming up kind of fun. A lot of the teams will do a foreign trip. Basketball teams certainly do this. You've got a trip coming up in June to France, don't you? Yeah, it'll be fantastic. We went to Spain in 2015, mm -hmm. but this one's extra special, going to June um, to France for the Women's World Cup. Nice. So uh, – uh, we'll be there for nine or ten days, um, catch some uh, games in the Women's World Cup. Players will, will play against four professional teams while we're there, so an opportunity to bond as a team, to get some extra training sessions in because you get ten practices before you go as well. Um, so we're super excited about it. Uh, we are soliciting people to to help the cause because it's an expensive trip. Looking and, for partners. Yes, look yes. the people I want to invest in our talented <laughs> young student athletes. Um, but we're excited to get there as, as a team and as a staff and to really bond and play some good play some good teams, but really just absorb just a different culture and the fact that the women's World Cup's there. Is just a really a, a bonus. Well, that's outstanding. Anybody that would like to come alongside the soccer program, just call you here at the Champions Center. Yeah, right? yeah. If you pay for your trip, uh -huh. and then and then you pay for another trip, then like you can hang out with me. That's really Man. priceless. Oh, that's unbelievable. So if you come together, you come together like eight thousand dollars, Mark. You can hang out with me for a week and a half in, in France. What an opportunity! Who knew? Give Danny a call and right along. We'll with find you a spot. I like it. Well, congratulations on a great season and a great looking class. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. All right, Danny Sanchez. See you soccer coach here. We got eight brand new Buffaloes on board.